Hey, this is Lisa Carter, and today I thought I'd do a video. I had a situation um, come up that um, I was going to try a little experiment with, and um, I thought it would be good to video it and, and share it with you. Um, this is Spirit. He's um, an 11-year-old gelding that I've had since he was a baby. And um, he, I think it's him, but he has been doing um, some pretty naughty behaviors lately. Uh, we had some neighbors move in a few months ago with um, two new horses and um, I think that the changes in the situation in the herd dynamics here maybe be causing him a little bit of stress um, or anxiety of some kind, the frustration maybe because he can't get to them. He is the only gelding in the herd now. He used to have a friend that he would play with um, uh, all the time and he doesn't have that anymore. He has his mare, but um, obviously, you know, a mare and gelding dynamic is a little bit different than two geldings. So he doesn't have um, a playmate anymore. And so um, I'm, I'm kind of getting a uh, feeling that he's frustrated. I found a couple of days ago one of our trees in the pasture was completely stripped of bark from top to bottom. And, you know, I've had this horse since, you know, 2003. And he's never, ever done this. None of my horses have ever chewed on trees. And uh, within a matter of days, he, you know, he's completely stripped this tree. And I'm pretty sure it's him because he hangs out in this spot constantly. And it's right next to the fence where he hangs out with these other two mares in the adjacent pasture. Um, so I thought I would just try um, some emotional oils to help him maybe ease his tension, ease his frustration level and uh, try some aromatherapy. So I have with me um, five oils I'm gonna offer today for him. And uh, the first one is lavender, the second one is peace and calming, the third one is valor, and the fourth one is release, and then the fifth one is joy. Um, these are emotional oils, typically. They're used to help people or animals that have emotional problems or need a little uplift. Maybe they have had abuses that they're trying to overcome. So I'll um, go into more detail uh, in the written part of the article that's associated with this video on what each of those oils does. And with aromatherapy for horses, um, animals tend to be very um, sense-oriented. Or, sense um, they are really good about um, going out and finding things that are therapeutic for them in their environment um, through what they eat or what they uh, can absorb through smell or touch. Um, they uh, typically in the wild, you know, if they need, um, if they need something, they're missing a mineral or um, uh, a vitamin in their diet, they just instinctively know where to go to get it and they seek it out in the plants around them and eat them. Um, the same thing happens with aromatherapy. They find things that they need and they seek them out and that's what aromatherapy is about. And what I'm going to offer him, I'm going to offer him one oil at a time and um, see which one he instinctively is intrigued with, if any, and he may not find any of them intriguing. Um, but each of these has different properties, and depending on what's driving his behavior, um, just like you know, with uh, left or right brain horses, you would use a different training strategy, the same would go for oil. So we'll let him seek out what he thinks he needs. And I'm just gonna offer him to smell it and let him inhale it. If he turns away, fine, we'll move on to a different oil and see if he likes that one better. So the first one I'm gonna do, um, I think it's gonna be peace and calming. And that's just because this one um, is kind of at the top of the chart for his behavior and um, what I know of his horsemanality. So I'm going to just hold this out to him and see what he does. Let me see. He seems pretty intrigued by it. He's not turning away. Licking and chewing, that's a good sign. So I think this was probably a good choice for him. He tends to be a real high-spirited horse, but he's very left-brain most of the time about most things. 
He's the dominant horse in the herd, even though he's the smallest. And um, a lot of his um, behaviors are, you know, they tend to be argumentative or, um, uh, you know, rather than uh, a more right brain, you know, fearful type of uh, situation. And he's really, really intrigued by this one. And he's, he's going to try and, and eat the bottle, which that tells me he, he really likes this particular oil. And you can, you can do all of these topically um, for the most part. Um, but in this case, we're just going to do aromatherapy today. I might try some, uh, some topicals maybe uh, later on in the week, but we're just going to stick with aromatherapy for a couple of days. And I'm just going to let him sniff it for as long as he needs to. And uh, I'll edit the video out so you don't have to sit and watch that. It, with his head just lowered, he's wanting something else. What do you want? What's more? I'm going to see what he does if I try and take it away. Is he going to seek it out or is he just going to move on? He's trying to seek it out. I'm going to give him a little bit more line. Let him have a little bit more movement. And he still, he still wants some. So I'll probably offer this one to him over the next two or three days. And I'm hoping that we'll see a difference in his behavior. And uh, I'm taking a before and after picture of the tree. So I'll take a picture, an after picture in a couple of days and see if the chewing is stopped on the tree. It looks like he's done with this one. The other one that I'm going to offer is called Release. And um, it's a really good one to um, offer horses that are stressed, um, that have um, maybe some anxiety, some emotional baggage that they're carrying around. Um, I can't imagine what kind of emotional baggage he would be carrying around, but um, you just never know. So I'm going to also offer him this one and see what he does. And he's already looking for something to do. Let's see if he's interested in this one. And it has some of the similar oils as the other, but there, there are a few different ones. So there's one or, I think one or two that are the same from the other blend. He likes this one too. as interested in that one as he was the other. He is saying it, I don't know if you can see it on the camera, but he is knocking my hand with his lip, like he's kind of pushing it away. <laughs> Take it away, see what he does. He came back for more. I'll let him have some more. which are lavender and joy, simply because he responded so well to the first two. The, la the last one that I'll offer him will be valor, which 
I would tend to more offer this one to a horse that is uh, got confidence issues that maybe um, you know is real fearful all the time. You know, one of those jumpy, skittish horses. Even though he's skittish and jumpy, his is more adrenaline based rather than um, you know uh, right brain fear based. Even though they they both can come from adrenaline, his is more energy, um, but a left brain energy. He's thinking about everything he does um, when he's reacting. He's not one to just blindly, you know, do things. He, he, he knows what he's doing when he's doing it. So I'll offer this one too and see, see if he likes this one. He doesn't seem too terribly interested in this one at all. It's kind of pushing my pushing my hand away is how I'm taking it. I think he was more the, the one I got the most positive reaction from would be the peace and calming, which I'm gonna offer him again right now. So I get a very different reaction from him with this one than I do with any of the others I've tried so far. So I would have to say that is our winner, and I'm going to give him this over the next couple of days, just uh, offer it to him um, maybe in the mornings um, and uh, once again in the evenings uh, before I go to bed, maybe at feeding time, and just kind of see what that does for his behavior. Um, these are really good if you have a horse that's doing... Um, you know, just kind of weird behaviors that you're, you're not really sure how to deal with. Um, you know, rather than medicating your horse, you know, this is obviously a much better alternative than, you know, giving your horse drugs. So um, I will let you know how it goes. I appreciate you watching today. Thanks.